stories lit by dark flame can only be extinguished by the same. Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the final member of the Husbando Bandits, Firebrand Tyr. Firebrand is a fire DPS unit. He belongs to the Yggdrasil faction of characters and uses rage as the resource to execute his skills. Before we dive into his skills, let's quickly go over his dual stance mechanics. Firebrand fights using two stances, Burning Sword and Blazing Armor. He will always take the field in his Burning Sword stance. After activating the skill trial of Heat, he will deploy the sword and change into his Blazing Armor stance. Blazing Armor remains active until Trial of Heat's duration ends, or the sword is manually recalled. This is all that you deserve. His basic attack have four sequences, and each hit will generate a set amount of rage. While in Blazing Armor stance, his basic attacks have five sequences, and will generate a set amount of rage on hit. His dodge skill will grant 15 rage and increase outgoing fire damage by 12% for 6 seconds. While in Burning Sword Stance Skill 1, Flaring Assault delivers 2 quick slashes and inflict a 2 second stun on hit. While in Blazing Armor Stance, he will expend 20 rage and rush forward, delivering a devastating blow to the locked on target. In addition, the enemy's fire resistance will also be lowered by 16%. While in Burning Sword Stance skill 2, Pyro Predator delivers a wide horizontal slash to the surrounding foes. While in Blazing Armor Stance, Pyro Predator will now consume 20 rage to reposition the sword to a new target, refresh its duration and increase its damage by 40% for 5 seconds. While in Burning Sword Stance skill 3 Trial of Heat, deploys the sword at the locked on target and enter Blazing Armor Stance. The sword will remain on the field for 10 seconds and deals constant fire damage to the surrounding targets. While in Blazing Armor Stance, activating Trial of Heat will recall the sword. Upon catching the returning sword, he gains temporary super armor and delivers a powerful blow to the surrounding targets and reverts back into Burning Sword Stance. His ultimate, Hellfire Rekindled, will end Blazing Armor Stance if he was in it. Ignites the sword before leaping into the air to deliver an explosive blow to the surrounding targets. On hit, the team's skill damage is increased by 10% and ultimate damage by 20% for 10 seconds. If Kagatsuchi is on the team, their ultimate skill chain, Scorching Seal, increases the team fire damage by 40% Skill damage by 10 and ultimate damage by 20% for 12 seconds. Needless to say, this is a very potent skill chain for fire units. Now that we have a better understanding of his kit, here is the game plan. In combat, if there are multiple targets present, try to lock onto the enemy with the highest HP value before deploying your sword. While using blue code, you can pretty much unga bunga just be mindful of your HP. Since blue code grants better damage the lower your HP, use Burning Sword Stance to keep your HP low and Blazing Armor to regain health if things get dicey. The following combo is viable for both red code and blue code. Just be sure you're keeping that HP low when using blue code. やり。叩き込む。舐めて。砕けろ。砕けろ。甘い。すべて想定通り。仕留める。これはどう甘い。砕けろ。死滅。消えろ。
叩き込み感謝する砕けろ砕けろ全て想定通りせい砕けろ沈滅消えろ<笑>祝うほどの勝利でもなかった Because I don't have his signature functor, showcasing the combo for yellow code is a rough one. He also needs to be on field in burning sword stance for at least 20 seconds to gain the 35% attack buff from the third ether code. So this showcase is simply to show you what the combo looks like. Don't worry about the numbers. Your damage with the functor equip will be much higher. <laughs> なめてる沈滅くらえはんつきありしまいだすべて想定通りせいたたき込むはん叩き込む消えろ Needless to say, don't bother with this line if you don't have his signature functor. When it comes to ether codes, 3 red is going to be our recommended for most players. This line prioritizes the blazing armor stance, increasing damage dealt in the stance by 16%. In addition to passively generating 3 rage every 0.5 seconds. While in Blazing Armor Stance, Casting Skill 2 will refresh the Deploy Sword's duration and increase its damage by up to 24%. And Casting Skill 3 will reset Skill 2's cooldown. While in Blazing Armor Stance, successful basic attacks will reduce Skill 3's cooldown by 0.5 seconds. When Skill 1 is cast in Blazing Armor Stance, Consume all rage, and for every one rage consumed, the damage is increased by 1%. Lastly, after your ultimate is cast, skill 3's cooldown is reset. 3 blue is actually cracked, and have a higher damage output than red from my experience. You just have to adapt a Dark Souls like playstyle to gain its full benefit. It will increase your damage dealt base on your remaining HP. While in burning sword mode, each hit of your basic attack will consume 2% of your HP. Casting skill 1 or skill 2 will inflict the enemy with a burning sin mark at the cost of 10% of your HP. The mark will remain active for 20 seconds and damage dealt to a marked enemy while in blazing armor stance is increased by 24%. Basic attacks in blazing armor will also heal you to counter the HP lost from your burning sword stance. This is a fairly risky playstyle, but his built in sustain should be able to keep you alive. Yellow code is recommended for players using his signature functor. This will prioritize burning sword's damage output, increasing its basic attack and skill damage by 16%. While deployed, the sword will now follow its target. Recalling the sword will no longer have the sword returns to your location, but will instead teleport you to its location. The sooner the sword is recalled, the shorter its remaining cooldown. Lastly, when in Burning Sword stance, you will passively obtain an attack stack every two seconds. Each stack increases your attack by 3.5% and stacks up to 10 times. Likewise, while in Blazing Armor stance, You will lose one stack every two seconds. So try not to stay in that stance long to maintain your buff. The Gen Zone Functor Elf Galadriel's effect being single target is less than ideal, but serviceable nonetheless. Both Murphil and Theum have fairly good effects, but due to their lower base stats, I would only recommend using them as a placeholder until you can get the Gen Zone Functor. Of course, his signature functor 
Elf Arngrim is going to be his best option. Long story short, the Functor allow him to gain stacks. Each hit of your basic attack in Blazing Armor Stance will grant 4 stacks, and recalling your sword will grant 100 stacks. These stacks can then be consumed to enhance the potency of your skills, allowing for more devastating attacks and increasing your overall damage output. Each stack consumed by Skill 1 increases its base damage by 1.6%. While in the Burning Sword stance, each basic attack or skill cast will trigger additional skill damage, which can themselves be amplified by consuming some stacks. This functor essentially turns him into one punch man. As for sigils, the new Peacekeeper's Blessing will increase skill damage by 10%, an ultimate charge rate by 20%. After granting an ultimate damage boost to a teammate, skill damage is increased by 20% and melee damage by 30%. You can slot this set on 1, 3 and 5. For 2, 4 and 6, we can use Caledonian Rage to gain a 10% skill damage and deal with his rage issues. For enchantments, we're aiming for attack, crit rate, and crit damage. As always, Warps gives you the freedom to personalize your characters in a way that best fits your playstyle. As such, the ones I recommend may not be the best ones for you. But if you want my recommendations, they are as follows. Two power-up melee. One Judge and one Executioner for slots 1 and 2. For slots 3 and 4, we want two Telephathize Force Field 1s and two EM Flux. If he is in a team with Kagatsuchi, replace the two Fluxes with two Unfetters. Since Blue Code already play into the low HP gimmick, replace the Fluxes with two Savages instead, if you're running Blue Code for a stronger damage buff. For slots 5 and 6, use two Kinetic Mods and two Evolution Particle 3s. For Yellow Code, you can replace the two Evolution Particles with two Flashback Cores for a better uptime on Skill 3. This should result in a faster rotation. His best team at launch will be a Mono Pyro team, consisting of himself, Kagutsuchi and Blue Code Lingguang with Lingguang being especially useful if you're one of the mad lads running blue code. In the future, you can replace Kagutsuchi with Alter to complete your Dark Souls squad. If you missed out of Lingguang but have Jin Wu, you can add her to the team to form a pretty powerful Monopyro team. Of course, Hera is always welcome to join the party while paired with Kagu or Alter. Yellow Code, Heimdall and Akuni will provide bonus attack, crit rate and constant armor break respectively. Additionally, their ultimate skill chain is fairly spammable and will instantly refresh Firebrand's skill, 3 making your rotation on Yellow Code even more forgiving. They are not gonna outperform one of the Kargus as teammates, but if you don't have access to a better option, they are a viable substitute. Last but not least, Blue Code, Kotachi and Buzembo can provide constant armor break and a 30% fire resistance shred on their skill chain. I am sure you've ran into plenty of administrators that were more than eager to tell you Firebrand was the inferior version of Ten Blaze. But those administrators are just that, traitors. Firebrand is a very powerful modifier. With the same investment and equal rank to Ten Blaze, the difference in power is not as drastic as others may have you think. And sure, you could make the argument he no have booba, but last I check you did not need them to set the world ablaze. <laughs> Oh,
この関係が互いの利益になることを期待している。